Well, long queues have been forming at the border to Poland as Ukrainians trying to find safety in neighboring European countries. Our correspondent, Kasia Madeira, is at the Polish border in the village of Medica. And uh, Kasia can tell us a little bit about what's happening there this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. It is really cold here. This is Eastern Europe and the winters get very, very cold. And I've got to say that people are wrapped up in blankets. But let me just tell you the first experience that people have. This is Medica. Just over there is the border crossing and thousands of people have made that journey uh, a long and difficult journey because behind that border we're hearing about queues of kilometers up to 40 kilometers long there is so many people that are trying to get through into Poland already Polish authorities are estimating that around 200,000 people have made the cross since this crisis has started so just in the matter of a few days so a huge wave of people coming through this is the first thing that they are greeted with uh, the Poles have been setting up, local community groups, local authorities have been setting up tents so that people just have that first initial ability to get a little bit of rest because they have been traveling for so many hours. We were hearing experiences of up to 30 hours wait at the border and people have been walking for a very long time. As you can see, uh, local people delivering cloves and just... just buggies, prams, nappies, lots of different stuff, anything that they feel that this first, that first initial contact that people may need. Also hot food as well, because like I say, it is bitterly cold here, so hot food is absolutely crucial. Now, we know that it's a very difficult experience for the people who are coming through. Like I say, they have spent hours waiting to cross over that border. Some people who weren't able to come by car just abandoned their cars, some people were trying to get on trains from towns like Lviv and there have been various different reports, especially on social media, about the difficulties that people have had boarding onto those trains. We've been hearing descriptions of how Ukrainian women and children have had priority of getting onto those trains. Of course, this is something that on this side of the border is really hard to verify. But I want to talk to one gentleman who was studying in Lviv. His name is Gabriel and he's literally just crossed over into Poland. And Gabriel, you were telling me a little bit earlier about what happened to you when you were trying to board onto the trains, what happened? What was your experience of trying to get out of Ukraine? It was a very terrible experience for me. Like, the last 10 days in Ukraine was very, very difficult for me. Like, it wasn't what I was expecting. The, the military there was very mean. They were, not just, they were just so mean to us, like, as if we were no humans. No food, nothing, no support. It was just on your own. All they did was go to your embassy. If your embassy is not there, the rest they leave it up to you. And this was in Lviv, just to clarify, this was in Lviv. So how did you get to the border with Poland? Yeah, we walked for like 12 hours from Lviv to Poland. We worked for like 12 hours, also more than, but mine was like, like 12 hours with no food and nothing, you just have to. And then when you got to the border, what happened to you? What did you see? That was that was that was one of my worst experiences. Like the soldiers I was on duty that day was mean. They were just so heartless. Like they treated us like animals totally. Like there were no human sympathy in any of them. There was there was some there, there was some of some hoodlums that who comes around in those of those places that the soldiers see the borders. We saw some of them with some weapons and we tried to make the soldiers understand that we are seeing these people with weapons and he said we should go and there's nothing he could do about it. And we we're like we, we can't risk our life. So they started chasing us away, hitting us with wood and even you can see they even hit my leg right here. Gabriel, when you got over the border then, when you were in that bit coming up to the Polish part, what happened? Yeah. Well, they were nice to me, at least. They work on me, give you food. I had one or two conversations with you. A little bit of relief. I feel like I'm acceptable again. 
like to do. Gabriel. Someone lost me back. And Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank, Thank you. you so much for talking to us. I know you're going to get some hot food now. And it's, it's one of these experiences that we've been hearing about. But again, it's very difficult to verify exactly what is happening. Uh, Polish authorities have been adamant that there has been no discrimination in terms of the ethnicities of people coming across, that everybody is welcome. But as you heard from Gabriel's experience, it's been everybody's had a very difficult journey to get here. Now they are here, they're being taken to reception center points where they can get some rest after so many hours and hours of traveling. Thank you very much for that. It's uh, fascinating to see just how busy it is there this morning. Uh, that's on the uh, border with Poland.